Good afternoon, YouTube community. It's your boy, Ghost84. I just wanted to go ahead and share my vintage collection of Pokemon cards. These are ranging from basically 1998 to 2002, maybe. Uh, then I stopped collecting. So starting with the, what would be the newest set, it's gonna be the last set that I ever collected. This is part of the Neo um, era. That one's cool, a little Skarmory. Jump Puff, first edition Hollow. A little first edition Raichu. Kingdra, looking sweet. And then uh, Selby. Um, the next set after that is going to be Southern Islands, I think. So this one's a really cool set. This is, if I'm not mistaken, like the first time they ever did reverse foils. Got the little vile plume, slow king. Ladybug. Got the Zard. An awesome swirl. Man. So cool. Got the Meryl. Man, got another little Meryl. So this set, I hope I pull out next, it may have came out before or after, or vice versa. That Southern Islands. Um, this is. First edition holographic of first ring. Got a little cool looking polyrath. Swirled up. First ring again. I think this set might be Neo Destiny. In the comments below, may, maybe write down if I was wrong or right. I'll look it up later too, I suppose. This one's a really nice upon door. First edition. Boot tops, I really enjoyed this art as a kid. Size or This is another great art piece. As you can tell I got two. And an unknown. After that set we run into the Neo Genesis. Start out with the base cards. So we got Blossom, Sweet Lugia, and it's been a while since I've seen this card and it freaking looks awesome. Kingdra, got the Leaf Homie. <laughs> so we'll start running into the first editions now and then into the Japanese. So you got the Dark Energy, Togetic, Jump Puff, Asmoral, Blossom. A lot of these cards, I do remember pack, pack pulling them. Like this one, freaking awesome day for me. You can definitely tell where a lot of my paycheck went to as a kid or and or allowance. Alright, busting into the Japanese. I really enjoy this one. Holographic, Typhlosion, another Typhlosion with a sweet swirl, Pichu, and again like for these Japanese ones as a kid I was only able to trade them. I never really uh, knew where to get them other than to trade other people for these. So definitely happy that I was able to get those. I 
right now we're going into gym challenge. Again, starting off with base going into first edition in Japanese. We got the Giovanni's Needle King. Blaine's Arcanine. Whenever this set came out, man, I really enjoyed it. Just like, okay, these are our, you know, Giovanni's homies that he battles with. Is that what's wrong? Misty's Gyarados, Sabrina's Gengar, got the Pidgeotto, that one's cool, that one was fun to play with too, got the first edition, Needle King Giovanni's, yeah the homie Giovanni, I really enjoyed the Team Rock. Team Rocket aspect of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Rocket Zapdos. Man, I really enjoyed this. Again, like, man, it's such a great day whenever I pull this. And this one, too. Killer, man. Misty's Wish. Blaine. And then the Sabrina's Gold Duck. Gym Heroes now. Alright. And again, whenever this set came out, it's like, man, this such a game changer for the playing of the cards. Nice little change up to the images. Like this one, that was a cool image. Rocket Scyther. I think the only card that didn't pass over to English from the Japanese set was the Rockets Mewtwo, but I could be mistaken. Got that Rockets Snorlax. Again, like, this card was really good uh, to play with as a child for the game. Misty's Tentacruel. This one was a really sweet one. Sabrina's Gengar. Uh, you can't really tell in the back, but for the right there but they really didn't allow the cemetery in the backdrop for the English version rocks right on or right on Tin it surges electro buzz Erica's file plume open into the first editions now not many of them So we got the Rocket's Trap, Hollow, first edition, and then Erica's Dragonair. Jumping into the Japanese. Charmeleon action, Polyrath, Brock, Misty's Tentacruel. Sabrina's Alexam. There it is. Make the cemetery look on it. Man. Again, like I'm so happy I was able to pick up the Japanese whenever I had the chance to. Diamond Chansey. So as a kid, this was all the hype. I remember reading about it in a wizard magazine of some sort, and it's like, oh, you know, White Diamond Chansey. It's it's the first time that Black Diamond wasn't used. So this was a little bit of a rarity, and whenever I saw that someone in the Pokemon Club had this card, I knew I definitely had to have it. If I'm not mistaken, I think I traded. A little bit more than I should have but still very happy that I did 
finish off the gym heroes. Get swirled up. thousands next set is going to be team rocket this one right here i would definitely say by far this is probably my favorite set again after had base set fossil jungle base two this was the next premiere set so again we'll start off with the base and then jump into the first edition and see if i have them So it's labeled 83 out of 82. Again, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the secret rare that really wasn't on the checklist, but if you knew the checklist, you knew that you had to get this card for it. Dark Arbok, if I'm not mistaken, again, this was like in all of the Team Rocket trainer boxes or trainer uh, little packs that you can get. So you definitely see quite a few of those. This one's one of my favorite renditions of Dark Blastoise, or just Blastoise in general. We've got the Zard. Here comes Team Rocket. Again, super fun card. Dark Weezing. This was like the other uh, one that came in the Leap deck with Dark Arbok. This bad boy, Dark Machamp, Dark Vile Plume. These are all going to be my first edition ones. Dark Arbok, Dark Magneton. You're definitely going to see a lot of Dark Arbox. I almost feel like that one was definitely not on super short print or on a short print. It flooded the market with those. Dark Machamp. Slow bro and Dark Gyarados. Part two of the first edition Team Rocket. Dark Dark Trio. Oh, that was a fun card to play. Got Dark Slow Bro. Dark Weezing. Dark Weezing. Dark Dragonite. Dark Dragonite, first edition, holographic. Uh, what do you know? 83 out of 82. First edition, Dark Raiju. And then you got the Dark Charizard, first edition. This is your non hollow. Still a really sweet card. And then we got the first edition, Charizard as well. And then I only have a couple of the Japanese style. Dark Golbat, Dark Alakazam, and then Dark Slowbro. Again, the Japanese, man, the holographic pattern just pops just a little bit more than the English version, or version. All right, next set is gonna be base set two. Neo King, Cliff Fable, Nino Queen, got Mewtwo, one of my favorites. 
Mewtwo. Holographic. Mewtwo. Holographic. Got the Wigglytuff. Mewtwo. Holographic. Clefairy. Clefable. Sweet Scyther. Polyrath. And then now jumping into the fossil. Ditto. Lapras. Sweet Muck. This was, if I'm not mistaken, this was a fun card to play with too. Ditto. The Ditto, it could be any Pokemon you want. Got the Kabutops, Haunter, Magneton, Raichu, Sweet Aerodactyl again. This was a fun card to play with. Aerodactyl again, Lapras, good old Zapdos. That was an awesome card to play with. This one was just really nice to have. Dactyl, Lapras, and then get into the Japanese. We got the Zapdos, Moltres, and then the Haunter. Going into Jungle next. So we got Base Set, Vaporeon non hollow, Flareon, Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan. If you didn't know what, uh, this one, this one hit so hard. Vaporeon hollow, little Butterfree first edition, and into the Japanese. Scyth or, uh, Scyther. Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, uh, Electrode, Weeping Bell, Pinsir, this one was freaking a sweet one to use too, Genghis Khan, again, just the Japanese hollows hit that much harder. Okay, and I imagine what everyone's been waiting for is the base set. Alright, so. Got the old Snorlax. Hitmonchan. Pinsir. Magneton. Polyrath, Pidgeot, this one was a heavy hitter too, Polyrath, Sweet Gyarados, Sweet Gyarados, Toys, Blastoise, Blastoise, a little Red Cheeks Pikachu, Red Cheeks Pikachu, First edition Machamp. These ones came with um, the training decks or the starter decks. I guess that's what you call them. Almost shadowless. You can kind of tell like this one has a shadow. This one doesn't have a shadow. One holds a little bit more of a higher premium for it if it's in nice condition. Uh, Japanese base. Japanese base, freaking sweet Nido King, sweet Swirl, and then Polyrath. A little honorable mentions like the promos we had back in early 2000s. Let me actually check the date on this. Okay, so 1999. Got a little Ivysaur, a little Chrome by Tops. 
back in 2000, if you saw the movie, they gave you a little promo card. Um, pretty neat. Still got my original ticket, too. Going into some of the promos. Sizer. Oh. Again, I was part of the Pokemon Club, so some of these were earned for completing badges, showing up. Like, this is the pre release for the Gym Heroes. This is one of the OG ones, like one of the first promos that they did for Pokemon Club. Pre release for Dark Gyarados for the Team Rocket set. You two. This one, I can't remember if that one's like a Pokemon Snap or something. You two, holographic, or I'm sorry, Mew. Got the War Turtle. I remember getting these ones out of Wizard magazines. Got a special little promo in there. More Mews, Seedra, Arcanine, Misty Seedra, other Pikachus. Arcanine, Arcanine, Mew. There we go. There's something different. Team Rocket's Meowth. Meowth, this is the one from the Game Boy. And then, cool, Porygon. That's a sweet, too. Uh, one of the only cards that had Vintage Slab just recently I picked it up. This one's gonna be a Japanese version of my favorite version of Charizard. So this is Dark Charizard, Hollow, it's from the 1997. Pocket Monsters, Japanese Rocket. Definitely sweet. Too cool. Well, I do appreciate everyone stopping in. If you'd like, throw down a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you still have some of your childhood collection still or what happened to it. But I do appreciate everyone stopping in today. Thanks again. Check out some of my other videos. You guys have a great day.